Hello guys, this is Delph from Elixir Node and today I'm gonna show you how you can create and set up a Minecraft Forge server at our host Elixir Node. Don't forget, if you want to get a really good game hosting, go to elixirnode.com and I'll promise you get world class hosting for really good prices and the staff will enjoy to help you. First of all, I recommend creating on your desktop a new folder that will be called Minecraft Forge Server. You can name it as whatever you want, but by doing this, it will you'll be way more organized and everything will be way easier for you. After you've done that, go onto the link in our description so you can start downloading the Forge client. We will just use the 1.16.4 version because this is the latest one. I recommend you downloading the recommended version because it doesn't have that many bugs and it's really good and stabilized. Press on the installer button and then it will get downloaded. I've downloaded it once so I don't have to do it once again. Open it. And this will pop up on your screen. Press on the install server button and as you can see you can download it on the default directory because this is the Minecraft directory it won't allow you. Press on these three little dots and select your forge server and that will be on your desktop and just look for it. It should be right here. Press open and then press ok. After that another window will pop up with the download. It. Just wait some time it will take 3 to 5 minutes, it depends on your computer and on your internet connection, but it shouldn't be taking that long. After it has been downloaded, this window will pop up, you just have to press OK, it shows that everything is done. Go back on your desktop, open this folder, and the first thing that you have to do is select the forge jar, right click and rename it server.jar. This will be really helpful in the future, you will see why in just a minute. After that, select all 4 of them. Right click, send to and compress the zipped folder. While it is compressing, go into your game panel and log on it. To access the game panel you just have to go to game.elixirnode.com and put your credit details. After you've logged in, go to file management, select all of your files by pressing this button, then press mass actions and delete files. This will take no time and it will be really helpful. After that, press the upload button and select the compressed file and click open. It will take less than one minute for the file to get uploaded. As you can see the file has been downloaded, you will know that when the bar turns green. After that you just have to refresh the page and then you can see the size of it, you can see everything. Just press on these three dots and press the decompress button. Ok guys, after you decompressed it, there is a chance, a probability that the server will be called server jar.jar. .jar. In my case, it didn't happen, but it can happen sometimes. If it does, press these three dots and press the rename button. And if it's like this, then just delete the last part of that jar and press enter. It can happen, it's not our fault, it's happening sometimes. After that, go on to configuration and press start the parameters and make sure that it's selected server.jar. If not, go to server jar file and type here server.jar. Don't forget to press the update start our parameters. When you see this green message, head over to console and start your server. You will get an EOLA accepting process if I'm not mistaken. As you can see the server is starting. Yeah, and if it's your first time running the forge, you will get this message. You just have to press I accept and it's done. The server is restarting, so the EOLA has been accepted and now this is it guys. You just wait for your server to start and all the files to get generated. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, don't forget to join our Discord server and open a ticket. The staff will be so happy to answer your questions in no time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smash that like button, don't forget to follow our Instagram at elixirnode and have a great time and see you in the next video guys. Bye bye!